Hello and welcome back to Fable The Lost Chapters with yours truly Lord and Senior the Mad. Hi Lord, the first is Harbinger, speaking level 22 boxes madman, master upon sanity, and all around neutral guy. I do believe it is time to clear up some of the messes I have made around the place. The current issue with this plan though is the fact that I still do not have all the crunchy chicks I need. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I can clear up which food first. I mean, yeah, this witch food, right? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Oh. Anyway, I've got the power, so I got the gap, which is the ability to enter this place. What is here? It looks like a chest. I suspect it is a chest. God damn, I have the best hat and it's an elixir of life. That's pretty useful, I think. Okay, so take care of Fitchford first. Then return to uh, Nuthold Glade. See if there are more crunchy chicks for sale. Of course, I can keep my out eye out for the traders here as well. Maybe they have something. But uh, anyway, I need all those crunchy chicks so I can go back to the Great Wood Gorge and get myself some of those amazing uh, demon doors open. Yeah, that'll be fun. I should probably also go and check out the possibility of being able to level something up. It seems a possibility. You, get out of the way. You are making the traders nervous. Shoo. That's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I dodge. I kind of forgot about that, apparently. Ah, got them with the Misma Furish. There we go. Stop mucking about with the traders. I need them to survive, troll. Of course, it doesn't help that the bloody idiots just go straight ahead and try to get inside these bastards. Are oh, you still alive? I'm a master now. Am I? Good. Do you have any crunchy chicks? Do you have any crunchy chicks? You only have potions. I will take all your potions. Goodbye. Bit bushes anyway. Oh, yes. None there. The All right. Thing is, for this area, I do not have a list of things that are around, but I do know there is a digging spot here, somewhere. Yeah, there, there it was. Both my exploring of the game wiki and. Uh, <laughs> The fact that, that when I first edited this part where I was in this area, I also saw the digging icon there. Alright, so my plan for this area is to first go and check if I'm strong enough. Relax, gentlemen, I'm just here to pull out the sword. Wait. Get away from the sword, I meant to pull. You bastard! Oops. Oops. Uh, wish I could have that. Great stuff. What? Great stuff. Can't you see his foot? Look how hard he's to kill the giant. Bus Come on! I need to activate the sword like this. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. If my Let's see what the hero can do. Nothing. Another loser. I bet that thunder could do it. Does he pass this way often? <laughs> Don't I laugh. Need to be tough to do this. Well, let's try this again. Oh, I cannot. Wait, well, no. Here. Maybe you stand yep. more of a chance if you were a little bit tougher. Yeah, apparently this doesn't work. I was hoping that maybe entering Hulk mode would help, but no. no. Don't you throw money in this so I can get the Paladin thingy. Alright, let's donate some money. I know. Gift of youth? 
Oh, my mother to Paladin. Need a good beside you. Can I ask you for you? Returning your devotees. Those who bestow generous. I want to become the Paladin. Come on, personality. Very famous warrior called Avatar. Warrior? I used to be a spell warrior. Don't they count my shields for anything anymore? Oh well. I do not think there is actually is anything here in this direction. Oh, there actually is business in this direction. Good. But first, Palverines. Let's try this look for a change. Of course, the look would be clearer if I did not wear a helmet, hat of chickening. Yeah, I think this is a good look for him. Everyone loves ponytails. Good. Okay. I was about to complain about there being no... I think I might actually have complained about there being no business for me in this direction anymore. But then I remembered... This. Health augmentation. Ooh, nice. So I can now have two augmentations on my Ebony Longsword. Augment. Health. Yeah. Good. And this has nothing interesting. Fine. Fine. Let's go and explore outside to see if there's anything more. Anything more at all. In this direction. I don't care about these Pelerines right now. They can remain. These health and uh, mana augmentations are really good for when I do not really intend to do anything. Actually, I think this area should be safe. So I am returning to Not All Glade for a second. See if there's any new chickens. There better be. Any chickens. But there's also apparently an assassin. Let's see if I can shoot him with a bow. I can. He's just stood there like an idiot. Like a melon. Yes, I did remember the ch slang of this land. The kid in Oakvale did teach me about how people stand around there. Like a melon. It's an important thing to know. How people stand around like melons. Uh, still no crunchy chicks. That sucks. Maybe they have crunchy chicks in the arena. Go check that. It is kind of interesting how all the traders in my way are trying to give me tips about trading. I can't actually get inside here. Oh, that sucks. I'll check if the trader here has anything for me. That's an option. Oi, no. Stop being so annoying, you runt. Yeah, this guy doesn't have anything. Except for an infuriating personality that makes me want to hammer his head in. But that's probably best left undone. Alright, let's check if there is the food trader. The, the food guy, the, the food lady, still living in here. If she is, then she will probably be quite old by now. Nope. No. No one here. I guess I can get the that stuff later on. Oh, hello. What? Silly game. My combat did not have anything to do with my will to this will to travel. Yeah, at least the people here are pretty weak, so that's not an issue. I seen here there. No wonder the fellow had a bad feeling about this. Even the traders knock him down. Do they? Fourteen crunchy chicks. Hell yeah. 
problem solved. I'm sorry. Let's go this way. I am going to enter this area. The area known as Greatwood Gorge, and I'm going to gorge myself on quite the checks. Hey, Gate. This is the deal. You perform an act of great evil in my sight, and I'll pop open. Yes, he will. Let's go here. Was that not evil enough? That was wicked, literally. Come on, dive through. That was evil enough. Good. All right, let's dive through. Now oh, there's some plant life here. Am I? I'm a beast again. Okay, cool. I don't have an issue with that. The hero does not need to be scrawny, especially when married to someone like Lady Grey. Ah, probably don't need to smack all of this. I just need to make my way in here to get this. The pickaxe, or the big hammer, whichever. Alright. That's that. It's not as good as my hammer, I think. So let's just continue on, proceed with our adventure. And all this running is probably going to work down his vent quite fast. Anyway, rose garden to give the rose to a door. This is something I left undone previously because I tried the jewels but they did not work. Hello. I never open on a first day. My heart has been broken too many times before. I can only let someone who really loved me through. I love you, Dor. Oh, you really know how to treat a door. I will always be open to you. You've made me so happy. I can feel pebbles welling up in my eyes. That was a red rose I gave him. The secret heaven haven. That's more more likely to be the right word. This is a sleeping place here, which is too small for this character. There are more beds around, and there's a chest for the villager. user. And uh, there's the possibility to also get a will user's hat from the school. I should get around to that. Ah, here I am to get a combat multiplier. Maybe this guy will be enough help for that. No, he won't. He's dead already. Hmm. Huh. Fine, maybe the hops. Because they also have business in here, because at the bottom of this... Uh, here, dungeon, there is something that I need. What it is, is a silver key. Apparently near the color skate, I accidentally left one. It kinda sucks, but hey. Did not notice the digging spot. Bear in mind, I will have to take it to at least 28. Well, actually, I don't need it to get that high, because there will be a Earth Troll outside to help me. But for now, it'll be just fine if I go through all this nonsense. Oh, hey! I must have disabled my shield accidentally before. The focus chamber. There is a circle of mushrooms, if I remember correctly. Somewhere over here. Um, what the fuck is up with this barrel? That's gigantic! Uh, yeah, this one here. Another silver key for me, and uh, that should be it for this little nonsense. After that, I should take books to school, I think. That should, that will be amazing. 
I quite think that would be an appropriate episode for Saturday. Could be cool. Yeah. Alright. These last hops. And then sprint out and fight the thingy. Hey thingy, feed my modifier. Where are you? Over there. Yeah, I think this should be enough. Get fighting. Yes! 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 There we go. Door, door to the door, door to the door. Oh yes, you are the man. Get your ass through here. I am the man and I will not be a booty gold door. Oh fine. Just this once. The butterfly house. That sounds nice. It's a cutlass, if I remember correctly. The cutlass blue dame. Looks quite nice. Yeah. Alright, now onwards to the marshes. Get out of my way, you silly bugger. It's as if he thinks he can actually fight me. <laughs> what nonsense. Yes, I skipped right into here. I'm sure the people... <laughs> all the traders I kind of left to die did not like that, but... Hey! At least I get to fight the hobs. All the hobs. Oh, there's some loot here. Get that. Then the hobs. Beware, traveler. I block the way to all but the most combat hardened. Hehehe, <laughs> hardened. If you request, my guardians will test your metal in combat. Meet their challenge, and the reward I hide is yours. I accept your challenge. I see you are ready for your test. Very well. Let's do this, man. Attack! Of course, starting out there are just hops. But they get more difficult as things go along. But I'm not sure if they will actually provide me with a challenge by now. Because, well, I am quite a high level hero. I'm older than Thunder by now. Which, you know, is nonsense. But still. Oh, goddammit, I missed. Ooh. These fellas actually take more than one hit to die. Oh, goddammit. <sighs> there we go. You defeated my guardians. I am knackered. Go on, get yourself through. Oh, thank you. Let's go through then. I am still unhappy about the whole lack of paladin title there. But I have this now. Which means I can go through that one other door now. Because I already had the, you know, what you call it. Uh, what do you call it? Bandit outfit. Right. What? Oh, wait, no, actually, I still have business in the area. It is. Can I kick this bastard? I can, but it didn't work. Uh, there's... A bandit getting his ass kicked by traders. That's always nice. Alright, my plan is to go and get this chest from here. And then I'm going to... Do the bordello. That's going to be fun, I think. So I'll have the pimp hat as well as a chicken hat. All the hats. All of them. 
And also get the crossbow from here, which is cool. The legendary crossbow. Oh hey, this traitor survived. I saved his life. I did not save his life because the hop killed him while I wasn't looking. I'm a terrible hero. Oh well. Wonderful. Uh, at least I'm wonderful and yeah. Okay, open this and get some loot. Arkans crossbow. Alright, so. Open for business, our customers welcome. A hero. Oh, I've long prayed someone from the guild would come and... But I'm forgetting my name. My name is Madame Mille. Welcome to the famous Darkwood Bordello. Please, walk with me. I suppose we can do this in this episode. As you can see, the Bordello is a haven of calm and pleasure in a perilous world. Weapons and spells are forbidden here. Men have come here for centuries to escape their worries and responsibilities. But, well, we've got problems of our own. Mr. Grey, the current owner, is what you might call a cruel, sadistic, self-absorbed despot. He treats the girls like slaves, little better than animals. Most of them have nowhere else to go, of course. If only we could find the Bordello Beats. But I'm sure you don't want to hear all this. Please, enjoy your stay. Yes, question dinner. That fountain over there is exceptionally loud. Like, really loud. Also, oh, fishing. A moonfish, eh? Not very impressive, but it, it will do. And a health potion. Okay, that was kind of useless. Hmm, what's this mount of code? The goddess of tender love. I don't think I'm meant to dig this yet. I kind of want to open the demon door first before I dig anything. But wait, no, there's something here I can dig. Valverine the two. Yeah, that's safe. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. That's for a safe picking. Ah, finally out of the reach of that horrid, horrid fountain. It's a hard life being a stone door. You know when I last had a physical relationship? No? Try never. So, I've decided to live vicariously. Now, I only open to men of the world. And I'm afraid you haven't even left the house yet. Come back when you're a real stud. Alright. Let's go pick out the prettiest prostitute and... Give her all my money. My lord, we are truly blessed by the gods. Wow. She's not bad looking. Hello. She's not bad looking either. Yay. I think I'm going to go with well, this one. Not, sir. I am Lady Sophia. I am here to entertain our more upmarket clients. Hmm. I am not inexpensive, but you will find me most uncommon. I am the best. How much? Yeah, okay. You'll be treated like a hero deserves to be. Come this way, sir. Actually, I should uh, display every one of them. For the purpose of uh, up, things hope. being Go ahead, then. complete. We've only got one bed, you know. Take me with you. Ooh, so this is what a hero feels like. Mmm, that's good. You're not like the usual riffraff we get in here. You may see me again. 
Of course, after finishing, there's no need for pants. Redhead week. <laughs> Wait, I want to see how that looks. Amazing. There's probably no sense in getting dressed because there's good customer service here. Now, who's next? Hi. This one. Well, hello there, hero. My name is Amelia, and I think I know exactly what you're looking for. The other one is uh, covering her eyes. All I need is the chance to show you. Sure. Don't worry. You'll see I'm worth every one of those 100 gold pieces. Oh, that feels good. Mmm, hero. Oh, that feels good. You look like you enjoyed that. Anytime you want a second taste, come and find me. Yeah, this, this episode is going to be very extremely fascinating in this regard, isn't it? Alright, so... This one. Welcome, hero. I am Lucretia. If you are looking for something a little more exotic, you will find what you seek with me. Do I see a flicker of interest? Maybe. You made the right decision. I just hope you can keep up with me. Just a little further. Mmm, that's the way. Over there. I have never serviced a hero before. It was... Interesting. Okay, that's three down. I still need ten more. Let's see who what else this market offers. What a man! Yes. Who's this? Me, Mistress Hedvig, your little puny man. Do what Hedvig say. But first, you pay Hedvig two thousand gold. Yeah. Yeah. This way, puny worm. Yeah. That's not the bed I was uh, looking forward to. Oh well. Yes, better. On knees now. Me want to see your bag. Yes, better. Hedwig pleased with puny man. <laughs> this is good thing. The famous avatar. The famous avatar has been scarred for life. Except he still doesn't actually have any scars because physical shield. Oh, I cannot use it here. Ah, this one. Hello, love. I'm Polly. Used to call me pretty Polly, and now it's just Polly. A wild ride with me will only cost you 50 gold. Cheap at twice the price. What do you think? You've got yourself a deal, lady. Come along with me then, love. Don't be scared. They're about the age, anyway. You don't want to break anything, do you? Oh, go gentle, lad. Not as flexible as I <laughs> used to be. Ow! Watch what you're doing! I'm sorry, the cover was in oh, the way. Yes, sir. Polly's still got it. Right, love? Uh, sure. Hooray! Alright, so that's five down? <gasps> My heart. I need a wedding ring, I think. Oh, that, that one is not interested. Golly, yes. There's an innkeeper and And you are <gasps> It's you oh, My eyesight isn't what it used to be. I can't recognize my own girls half the time. Okay. This guy? Oh, welcome, valued customer. The name's Grope. And these here ladies belong to me. We have the finest entertainers in all Albion and cater to a wide variety of uh, <laughs> specialist tastes. I think your ear is infected. So long as you got the gold, you can sample as many wares as you like. And if any of them cause trouble, you be sure to let me know. One last thing. Watch out for old Madame over there. She's after the deeds to this place, and she'll try any dirty trick to get them. Oh, her massive red hair used to drive me wild when she was younger. But she's got all the sex appeal of a dead pig these days. So instead of making me spill my secrets in the bed, she's been trying to get me drunk. I nearly fell for it once, but she won't catch me again. 
I'm the boss, and that's the way it stays. But listen to me, prattling on. <laughs> These are my problems, yes. <laughs> go on, go, 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 go. Enjoy yourself, sir. Yes! Right. You, you're the cheapest... Youngest one. Alright, that's that done with. Uh, let's get dressed. Problem solved. Okay, now let's go get the beam pad. And then I'll go and dig up that, those deeds and finish up in this area. But first, beam pad. Beam pad. Hat of pimps. Well, well, well. Aren't you the master in the art of love? I only have one question before I let you through. What's it like? The screen goes kind of black and then you hear the lady say something three times. Okay. Ah, the desolate Abbey. This looks like a really interesting place. But then it only has this. A pin pad. For pimps and collectors alike. Alright, so let's just get out of here. Get me something else. Name me the deeds. I think the best way to go about that is like this. It'll work. I see no flaw with this plan. None at all. Have a good day. Any of my girls tickle your don't I? You could just die. So, what kind of woman you are? No, okay, this doesn't work. I suppose I would have to get him a little bit drunk first. But instead, I am going to be lazy and dig here. For the little deeds, I'll give them to the madam and call this another sample of the free world. Where is she? You've got the deeds. Does that mean we're finally rid of old Grope? Oh, this is wonderful. What? Huh? How did you find it? It was perfectly hidden. This place meant everything to me. And now you've ruined it. Why, if you weren't quite such an imposing hero, I'd show you a thing or two. Well, I hope it rots and drops off. No, that's kind of cruel. Well... I suppose that makes you the new proprietor, then. He's perfect. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. Yeah! Hello, sir. I've been speaking with the girls, and... Well, we've had enough of this life. And now that old Grope is gone... I know it's a lot to ask, but... Perhaps you would consider turning this house into a refuge for fallen women? Such dignity. Yes. Such calm. What? Are you sure, sir? Once they've tasted freedom, my girls will never want to go back to being prostitutes. Ha! Yeah, they can do do what they want because pirates are free. But they are pirates. Oh, oh my, oh, oh! <laughs> girls. You don't have to work anymore. You're free. Freedom! Right then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.